Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me Superior. Today, gonna be starting a brand new series for you guys called How to Get Elite Weapons. Now, me personally, I'm sick and tired of opening supply drops and getting absolutely garbage guns. So I took it upon myself to look at some of the other variants of all the weapons in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and combine them with certain sets of attachments to actually be better than the elite versions of the weapon. So in this episode number one, we're going to be covering the ARX-160 and the ARX Steelbite, which is actually, believe it or not, one of my favorite weapons in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now this gun reminds me a lot of the M8A1 from Black Ops 2, but this one actually has more damage, the Steelbite is plus 3 damage and the variant I'm going to be showing you today actually has better stats than the ARX Steelbite itself. Now the Steelbite's going to be popping up on your screen right now and you see that it has plus 3 damage but the thing that really makes this gun um, or holds it back is the minus 1 fire rate and the slower fire rate really you know longer in between bursts and the 3 shots take longer and everything like that so it's just kind of a big pain in the ass and so often when I'm using this gun I kind of question myself is it worth it having that minus 1 fire rate because it really really does feel like it's like minus like 7 fire rate or something like that so um, I was looking through my inventory a little bit and I was able to find this gun the ARX 160 hole puncher which is just a professional variant of the gun which makes it a little bit more common um, and a little bit easier to get since it is an elite so uh, you're gonna see the normal version of it popping up on your screen right now and you see it only is plus two damage but not nearly as many things are subtracted on it and when you combine it with the attachments dual magazine quick draw and stock which you're gonna be seeing the attributes for the gun popping up right now you see that it's actually better than the ARX steel bite and the only difference is or the only thing that it's lacking in is that it has one less damage and honestly when you're running around with the gun uh, the plus one fire rate helps out so so much more uh, than the plus one damage ever could because you just run around almost every single time you get a one burst um, and it's just such an incredibly just viable weapon it is extremely good um, whether it medium range long range and even it can be it's useful at close range as well and recently I've been looking through this game a lot and I found out there's a lot of these con combinations for every single weapon class every single gun you know the AK-12 the Obsidian Steel there are so many different attachments so many different variants that if you combine them together they can actually be better than the elite versions of the gun as far as stats go and stuff like that so if you guys do want to see more of these episodes go ahead and click the thumbs up button on the video drop a comment down below letting me know what elite gun I should try and kind of a mimic or you know kind of rival or make an even better version of it in the next episode whether it's obsidian steed the ak-12 rip whatever it was i just did the steel bite first because this is the one that i initially noticed and initially um was able to find first and just kind of just what sparked the idea for this series so i do hope you guys enjoy the video go and click a thumbs up on i would love you forever subscribe if you guys are new for more advanced warfare content and i will see you guys in another video peace out